In this video, I want to show you how you can install the Tor browser on your Kali Linux. I'm using here Kali 2021.2, but these instructions also apply to other versions of Kali Linux. To do this, first start your browser in Kali. So click the Applications button here and key in Firefox and select Firefox. And in Firefox here, go to torproject.org. So here we are in the Tor Project website. On the upper right corner, click on Download Tor Browser. And here you have many options because you're using Linux, of course. Click on Download for Linux. And here select Save File and then click on OK. So the file now will be downloaded to the Downloads folder. So when the download finishes here, go to the folder where you downloaded the file. By default, it gets downloaded in the Downloads folder unless you change it. So click on this icon here. It will open it. Let me minimize the browser. We don't need it anymore. So you see here, this is the Tor browser downloaded. Now we need to extract it to a permanent folder. So right click on it and then click here extract to and wait for it and here it will tell you where you want it to be extracted so you see here we're gonna extract it under the documents folder it's very important to extract it in a folder that you will not delete later on so click on documents here i'm gonna put it under documents i clicked on documents and then here simply i'm gonna click on extract and the extraction starts so let's see now under documents what we have. So we have the folder for Tor browser here under documents. We can minimize now the file explorer and go to the terminal window. So click on the upper right left corner here. This is the terminal window. Click on it simply and let me increase the font. So to increase the font in the terminal window, you can press Ctrl and plus on your keyboard. So in the terminal window here, we need to go to the documents folder where we extracted Tor. So let's go to CD documents, hit enter. Let me see here what's in the documents. So you see here you have the Tor browser folder. So we need also to go to the Tor browser. So key in CD space TOR and then press the tab key. It will populate it for you automatically. Press enter. And here you see here in Tor browser, you have start Tor browser desktop. So we need to register this app to do this. Let me first clear the screen. And at this stage here, we need to register the application. So simply key in dot slash start and hit the tab key on your keyboard. The command will be populated automatically and then continue the command by putting minus minus register minus app and hit enter. And you see here, it will tell you Tor browser has been registered as a desktop application. So now we can find it in this menu here. So let me minimize the terminal window. We don't need it anymore. So click on the applications icon here and here simply key in Tor in the search box and you see Tor browser. So let me create a shortcut for it. Right click on Tor browser and simply click on add to desktop. So now you're free to start it either from here or from here. So let me start it from the desktop. Double click on it. On first start, you need to configure it for the first time. And this is the configuration. So it will ask you connect Tor. So I'm gonna click first, always connect automatically so that it will not ask me this in the future. And here simply click on connect. It is rare that you need to click on Tor network settings. This here you need it only if you are behind a firewall or in a censored country. This is not our case here. And like 99.9% .9 of the cases, just click on connect and it will work. So give it time here to connect for the first time. And here it is connected. So let me shut it down and start Tor once again and it should connect automatically now. And you see it connected automatically. So let me try, for instance, my website. 
knowledgechainingtech.com. Let me maximize the window. And now my website should open. And this is my website and this is Tor working on Kali Linux. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.